Up until recently, the one most powerful way to access Vertex as data was RESTful API. But power comes at a cost, and the cost here is the learning curve. We wanted to enable analysts and data scientists to start exploring the data as soon as possible while preserving the power of the API and hiding the intricacies of dealing with REST and JSON behind a familiar data frame structure. Thus, the Python SDK was born. The Voltexa Python SDK is a collection of tools that lets analysts and data scientists explore the world's oil or cargo data. So it's interactive by nature, which lets you get really hands-on with the data. We found its ease of use to be a strong point, allowing clients to iterate quickly when they're building their own models. For example, if you wanted to look at global oil flows, you'd open up a Jupyter Notebook, and then the first thing you do is import the Voltex SDK along with Pandas. Let's have a look at how Russian fuel oil exports have been split between the States and Singapore over the last year. Here we will find all of the cargo movements. Um, so we'll search these cargo movements. We're looking for anything, um, anything that was fuel oil that left Russia and headed to either Singapore or the States um, in the last calendar year. So between February 19 and February 20. So this data frame, we've got our loading ports here. Similarly, our discharge ports here. We've got Singapore, Port Allen. Um, we've also got the whether it was low so low sulfur or high sulfur, uh, the quantity in barrels, vessel, along with the load and discharge timestamps. So this is our summary data frame. Let's create some new columns that are simple to manipulate with a shorter name. So here we're going to want to look at the country. Now country isn't included in this data frame, so to include all the columns we will click all up here, run this through. You'll see now we've got 500 columns. There's a lot more detail in there. It'll include many more things about the vessel, the geographies, etc. So let's also extract the um, month from this data frame. Great. Now we're going to want to group by destination and month. So let's do let's group by month and then sum the quantity. Here we are. Great. Now we're going to want to plot this, but we'll need one column per destination. So let's store this in a variable and pivot that. So our index is month. Our columns will be destination and our values will be quantity. Let's see if this works. Yes. So we've got some NANs here. So let's fill these for the months with no exports, with zero values. Great. So that's our pivot and then we can plot this. So as you'd expect to see here, the fuel oil imports to the states have risen over the last year as the price has dropped, given that the Singapore imports have uh, decreased, um, 
which makes sense given IMO 2020. So this is one example of what we can do with the SDK. On the documentation site, which we'll include a link to in this video, there's a few more examples of um, what you can extract from Vortex's cargo movement data. Thank you very much.